Hey guys, this is Donna here. For those of you guys who do not know me, I am a child care CFO. What I do is I help child care owners pay the least amount of taxes per legal internal revenue service guidelines and procedures. And I also help child care providers um, increase their revenues to the six figure scale, the seven figure scale, and the eight figure scale. So today, what I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about was that the end of the year is approaching. The 2021 season is coming to an abrupt end, getting prepared for 2022. And I want to let you guys know that it is still not too late to save over $100,000 in taxes. You heard me right. Today, I'm going to talk about three key points that can ensure that you save several thousand dollars in taxes for this upcoming tax season that's about to start in less than 30 days, okay? So the first thing I wanna go over is bookkeeping cleanup. It is not too late to get your books cleaned up for the 2021 upcoming tax year that is to take place in 2022, okay? So go ahead and get those receipts together, get those expenses documented, get those incomes, revenues documented if you do not already have a bookkeeping system in process, um, you wanna go ahead and start getting those things prepared now because if you have not been appropriately maintaining your books over the past 12 months, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get all of these things together in a two weeks time span for the upcoming tax season. So now I encourage you to go ahead and get these bookkeeping uh, systems cleaned up. If you need help, kindly reach out to a financial professional to assist you in getting your books cleaned up so that you can save thousand dollars in taxes okay you want to get compliance you want to make sure you know what your revenues were for the 2021 tax season you want to know what your expenses were you want to know what your bottom line was whether you had a net profit whether you had a net income um, or a net loss or just a break-even point you need to know that before the tax season approaches, as this will help you in regards to tax planning and what strategic uh, tax strategies you need to implement to make sure that you're not paying more than your fair share in taxes, okay? Bookkeeping alone can definitely, bookkeeping cleanup can definitely save you thousands of dollars for the upcoming tax season, okay? The second thing that can save you hundreds of thousands of dollars as a child care provider is knowing what the time space percentage calculation is. This is one of the biggest tax deductions that many in-home child care providers can uh, take advantage of. Unfortunately, this is not a tax benefit for facility-based as you do have your own um, tax benefits, but this is strictly for in-home child care providers. I get this a lot. What is the time space percentage? How do I calculate the time space percentage? What do I need to know to calculate the time space percentage? The time space percentage is definitely one of those calculations that um, not only saves you thousands of dollars, but this is a tax planning strategy. This is things that you have you need to be planning throughout the year instead of just, oh, at the end of the year, um, I'm gonna, you know, put into progress the time space calculation so that I can save in taxes. No, this is something that's supposed to be gradually happen happening throughout the year over the course of 12 months. But how the um, the time space percentage calculation is work, works is that you take the time, the time that you spend operating your child care. It doesn't have to be, let's say for instance, you have your child care open from eight to five. That time is included in the time space percentage, but it's also any additional time that you spend before hours, um, before the operations of your daycare take place and after hours. All of that is figured in the time space calculation, okay? In regards to the space, what space do I utilize in this time space percentage? The space includes garages, any type of space where you're utilizing in home where your child care um, enrollment students, they are maybe taking naps, where you have lunch, where you have play areas. All of this and so many other spaces in the home are considered as part of this calculation, okay? That is the significance of always bringing someone on board who can effectively apply this time space percentage calculation to your in-home operations so that you can get this huge tax deduction benefit at the end of the year. You do not want to pay more than your fair share in taxes, okay? So, Number three, tax planning. 
I cannot stress the importance of tax planning. Tax planning is definitely not something you want to do during the heart of tax season. You want to come to your tax preparer and you want to say, okay, I want to start tax planning. That is not the, that is not the right time to do that, okay? The right time to tax plan is to tax plan during the year to get prepared for the upcoming tax season. That's why it's called planning. You're planning for future events to take place, okay? So tax planning is one of those things that's definitely going to assist you in saving thousands and thousands of dollars on a child care platform. I've seen it so much. We help so many child care owners with tax planning and they didn't know, you know, they didn't know the benefits, the perks of tax planning until they actually said, okay, I'm going to invest in my child care. I'm going to go ahead and get a tax plan because I do want to scale. I want to stop paying the IRS more than my fair share in taxes. I want to make sure that I'm doing what's best in my child care so that I can scale, so that I can increase my enrollment, so that I can increase my revenue, so that I can pay my uh, my staff, you know, uh, higher hourly wages or what, whatever the case may be. Not paying more than your fair share in taxes gives you the chance as the child care provider to use this money that you're not paying in taxes that you're saving to expand if you're wanting to expand or to reach whatever other goals that you want to reach or that you have in mind for your child care. OK, so these three points that I uh, just spoke about uh, briefly, such as getting your bookkeeping in order, go ahead, clean up your books effectively applying the time space percentage calculation this is definitely going to save you thousands of dollars in taxes and also getting a cohesive tax plan for your child care all those three things that i just mentioned are definitely going to help you as the child care owner increase your revenues it's going to stop you from paying more than your fair share in taxes nobody likes to pay more than their fair share in taxes and i'm giving you the information for free to assist you on how you can stop paying more than your fair share in taxes and increase your revenues and get to the point where you want to be in regards to your child care, okay? Now, if you are needing any assistance with this, there is a link below this video where you can reach out to me and we can go into more detail on how you can effectively apply these particular strategies that I informed you about to for this upcoming tax season because it's not too late, definitely not too late. Um, on Tuesday, I believe that's December the 21st, we will be dropping our ebook, okay? The ebook is going to tell you guys in detail how to perform the time space percentage calculation step by step for your in home child care. So you don't want to miss out on that. If you want to know step by step on how to apply the time space percentage for your child care, Purchase the book. The book is going to drop on Tuesday, December the 21st. Now, that's for in-home child care providers. Facility-based child care providers, there are things in the ebook as well that's designed specifically for you, such as all of the credits, all the deductions as a child care owner that you can take to significantly decrease your tax liability, okay? It can significantly decrease your tax liability. There are things in the ebook that talks about how you can effectively um, strategize a tax plan for your child care that, spit, that fits specifically to your child care. Every child care is different. There are nuances. There are different protocols for each different child care. This book is going to give you step-by-step -step directions on everything that I'm talking to you about today. The time space percentage calculation, how to effectively implement a tax plan for your child care. The deductions, the credits that are allotted to child care owners. These things are going to help you scale. It's going to help you increase your revenues. And it's also going to help you to stop paying more than your fair share in taxes. Again, the book is going to drop December the 21st, which is this upcoming Tuesday. Okay, so don't miss out. Again, if you have any questions, if you want to know more about the different plans that we talked about specifically just now, or if you have any other questions, I will have a link below this video. Click the link and I will reach out to you with your free 15-minute child care strategy session. Have a great Sunday.